Hello everyone, it's about 10 to 4 in the morning, I'm on Ellie's this week, um, which I don't like too much, I prefer my late shifts but it's got to be done. But yeah, it's 10 to 4, I'm um, just about to, to drive into work to start my shift. <clears throat> I thought I'd just uh, take you through a few bits and pieces about my day. Um, on an early shift, so yeah, I've got to drive into work now. It takes about me, it takes me about 20 minutes, or so, and I'll speak to you when I get there. Yeah, so I've just arrived at work. I've got a little bit of time before I sign on. I always get here a little bit early, um, so I'm just going to chill out here for a, for a few minutes. Got my, got my coffee here. Try and uh, wake me up a little bit. So yeah, early's this week. I'm on a quite a busy route this week um, but I'm hoping because it's that time of year between Christmas and New Year in fact it's New Year's Eve today um, yeah I'm hoping it will not be not be too busy today and uh, just hoping for a nice quiet uneventful day which is always good so yeah um, the route I'm on today has got is getting new buses put on the route and there's about five or six going out each day at the moment being rolled out gradually and uh, hopefully we'll get to drive a nice new bus so we'll see you in a minute Bar system pressure okay Okay, so I've been allocating my bus. It's not not a nice shiny new one, unfortunately. It's a bug, standard old style, 2012 plate Enviro 400. Just done my first use check. Everything seems good. Got a couple of minutes here before I'm due out of the garage at 4:55 to pick up our first passengers. So. I will talk to you in a little while. Hello again. Just um, finished my first trip to Lewisham and back. It's been pretty quiet as you would expect at this time in the morning. I've only picked up a handful of people so far. Um, I've already had one lady who didn't want to pay her fare, um, which always amazes me. You know, it's one pound fifty the bus fare in London. So no matter how long your journey is, is one pound fifty. And um, it's even even more value for money now since they brought in the hopper fare, which means you can travel on as many buses as you want within, I think it's, it's an hour or possibly ninety minutes. Um, and you only pay for one of those buses, so £1.50 and yet still some people get on and they don't want to pay the fare but um, you know they should try going outside London see what the bus fares are like there and then they really probably would think twice about complaining about paying £1.50 but there you go, it's one of them things, part of the job and you just got to smile and get on with it so yeah, I've got a little bit of time here. Uh, I've got about 20 minutes before I'm due back out on my uh, my next trip. Go to Lewisham, back to here, and then I go a little short trip back down to the garage and go for my, my meal break. Um, which is always kind of weird on these shifts because I never quite know what what I want to eat. You know, it's my meal break's at 9 o'clock in the morning, but... Because I've been up since three o'clock, it's more like lunchtime for me, so I don't really want to have breakfast, but it's always always quite awkward, but there you go. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here, have a little cup of, cup of coffee and relax for a few minutes till my next trip. I'll probably start to get a little bit busier um, later on once the, uh, the shops open and everyone 
wants to get round and get a few bargains in the sales. So, yeah, so I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello again. So I'm nearly at the end of the first bit of my, my shift now. I'm back here at the um, Princess Royal Hospital. I just got to go down to uh, the garage where another driver will take over and I can go and get some grub, which is good. Starting to get a little bit busier now. Looks as if um, quite a few people are actually back at work today. And then... Um, Started running a little bit late on that last trip, because we're on um, we're on Saturday schedules, which um, obviously you get less less time uh, to get from one end to the other at this time in the morning, as opposed to usual um, Monday to Friday weekday. But I was still picking up a fair few people going into work and stuff, so um, started running a bit late, only a couple of minutes, nothing too bad. But um, that's the way it is. So yeah, I'm nearly, nearly finished my first half, and um, I will speak to you shortly. One last thing I did want to mention that I forgot about in that last uh, little video there, something about these old uh, Enviro 400 buses. It seemed to it seemed to be very cold. Um, in the passenger camp compartment the cab's nice and warm which is good for me but for the passengers it ain't too great because it doesn't seem to be much um in the way of heating up here especially upstairs and um, downstairs isn't quite so bad but up here it's really quite chilly there's got these vent things here um that i think are supposed to be some sort of heating but it doesn't ever seem to be an awful lot of hot air coming out of them so um doesn't seem too great there's ones here as well don't know if you can see little vents here that i think is also the heating system but uh yeah not too good on a chilly day like this morning um to be up here in the cold hmm. hello again so i've had my meal break now i'm now on my second bus which is unfortunately another old Enviro 400 so no new buses today for me which is a shame but never mind I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it so yeah I've had my break and I've done my first bit, bit of my second half from the garage and I'm now in sunny Lewisham which isn't too sunny unfortunately but um, at least it's getting light now it's um, pretty dark earlier on and not too pleasant getting a little bit busier now but it's still fairly quiet and uh, on the last trip there I found myself running a little bit early which um, isn't too good as I said before we're on Saturday schedules and there's not as much traffic and um, passengers as there would usually be on a normal normal Saturday so you find yourself running a little bit early and having to kind of sit around and twiddle your thumbs at bus stops to kill a bit of time which never goes down too well with the um, the passengers because they just want to get to where they're going and they don't want to be sitting sitting there going nowhere but unfortunately sometimes that's what you got to do and uh, yeah so um yeah it's getting up to buggy o'clock now where all the uh, the mums start coming out with their little little kids in the buggies and want to all get on the bus at the same time which you find is usually the way and then we get people that start fighting over over the wheelchair space and uh, which is never too good it doesn't help that you know a lot of them don't have buggies, normal sized buggies these days, they're kind of pushing their kids around in a buggy that's like the size of a light aircraft and trying to squeeze it onto a bus which is not really what it's designed for and I kind of wish they would be a bit more sensible when they're buying these buggies if they're planning on bringing them on the bus, you know, get one that's actually 
a bit smaller, but make their life easier, it would make my life easier, but it's not the way it works, unfortunately. So yeah, I've only got a little bit left to do now, back to the Princess Royal, and then down to the garage and finish. So it's quite a nice short, short day to day, which is nice. And they're not all like this, don't be watching this video and thinking that no, oh, them bus drivers have got it easy doing little short shifts all the time, but this is one of the better ones, so you kind of enjoy them when they do come round. But unfortunately, you got to take the rough with the smooth and do the, the longer, longer shifts as well. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now, and I shall see you when I get to the other end. So it's about one o'clock now, and that's my shift finished for the day. So I'm just about to drive home. Uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed that little insight into the day in the life of a bus driver on an early shift. And I will see you all in 2019. Happy New Year and all the best. Bye bye now.